Mil. Milton. Crawl to wall. You want me to crawl? While I'm down here, is there anything else you want me to do? Shine your shoes, suck your... Ugh. Fuck you. And how long have you been here, my good man? Where is here? I suppose you articulate a sound point. Who are we to ask such immortal questions? I would have phrased the question differently, but to each his own. Philosophy is a game of opinion. It's give and take. What the fuck are you talking about? Well, you asked me where is here, which I interpreted as the philosophical question of where are we in this universe. I find it to be a relatively rudimentary spiritual search, but a potent question nonetheless. Unless you were asking the coordinates of our physical location, in which case, sadly, the answer is still, I do not know. Why? Why me? Another philosophical question that seems to rear its ugly little head wherever we go. I have heard many a man ask this question and I find that quite simply the answer is always, you deserved it. So, Mr. I don't know your name. Rollins. Philip Rollins. Ah, you are not perchance the Philip Rollins. The one and only. Then I believe I am in the presence of a celebrity. Yeah, I'm really living in the limelight right now. I myself do not have the privilege of being a household name. Please, call me Hans. Hans Modric. And then he said, let there be light. A Bible man, are we? No, not anymore. Not for a while. God doesn't need me and I don't need him. Well, Mr. Rollins, we're locked in a dark room. Excuse me, poorly lit room. Tied to a wall with some rather chafing chains. With a stranger whose intentions you cannot easily ascertain. And you're asking yourself, why this is happening to you? Perhaps he is what you need. I rather do believe you had to be a particularly unpleasant fucker for him hey, to punish hey. you this way. You're calling me a fucker? You're locked in here too. Yes, but unlike you, I'm not asking any questions. I know why I'm in this unfavorable predicament. Yeah, and why is that? Because I am an unpleasant asshole who had the good fortune of pissing off the right people in the wrong places. Now, Mr. Rollins, what do you think brings you here? Why does it matter to you? Well, I'm chained to a wall. I cannot exactly diddle myself for enjoyment. I can, however, talk and listen. My job. Your job brought you here? Well then, Mr. Rollins, perhaps you should consider finding yourself another line of work. Anything for the truth, right? Yes, I suppose so. Care to elaborate, Mr. Rollins? Iraq. The bombings. I was a reporter on the front lines. Ah, uh, yes. Your exposition on fear. You rambled on about some pretty heated issues. You attacked the Iraqi government. Hell, you even attacked the Americans. Exactly. One or the other. They kidnapped me, drugged me, and locked me up in this godforsaken hole in the ground. Or so you hypothesize. Excuse me? Well, these allegations you're making, they're just simple hypothesis? Hypothesis? Hypothesi? Mr. Reporter, what is the plural of this word? It's hypotheses. Are you saying hypothesis or hypothesis? Hypotheses. Mr. Rollins! Hi, pa, the, sees. It's Latin. English is such a silly language. It lacks the simplicity of German or the poetic nature of French. German? Simple? Now I know you're insane. Anyway, Mr. Rollins. Rollins. I just love that. Anyway, I digress. As I mentioned earlier, you have no way of knowing where you are or how you got here. 
the manner of your supposed abduction and the location of your captivity are simple hypotheses. For all you know, you could have been shot with a tranquilizer dart and logged off in the back of a truck to be stored in a quickie storage container unit. That was awfully vivid. I've often been told I have a hyperactive imagination. Is that it? Or is there more to that? Mr. Bowens, are you insinuating that I had something to do with your imprisonment? Maybe you did. Maybe you did, maybe you didn't. But you believe I did? You've been too calm. When you've been abducted, you don't fucking talk about grammar. You fucking panic. You show fear. But you haven't shown fear, Mr. Rollins. Just simple annoyance. How am I to know that you were not the one to orchestrate this fiasco? I fucking abducted myself? Beat myself? Drug myself and chained myself to a wall? I know not what you have done, or what you have not done. I do know that when I was part in the room, you were already present. Get me out of here! He's a fucking psychopath! Tell me, Mr. Rollins. Are you afraid? Get me out of here! Mr. Rollins, I beg you, please stop this nonsense and do pay attention. Yes! Yes, I'm scared. I never liked the word scared. You see, scared implies childhood innocence. When you're a dumb little shit of a child, you're scared of everything. Heights, the dark, the boogie monster under your bed. I prefer the word fear. Fear implies a primal emotion. When our ancestors were stuck in their caves, fearing for their lives, the assholes of the animal kingdom, this thing only for the rest of the world to take a shit on us. But then again, I suppose you know what fear is. Shut up! Shut the fuck up! You shut up, Mr. Rollins. Answer my question. Yes! I know what fear is. I was on the front lines. Bullcrap! The front lines of what? A Lakers game? In Iraq. I reported everything. Bullshit, Mr. Rollins. Bullshit! You never stepped foot in Iraq. I was there. You wrote your exposition on fear from your wife's comfy loft in New York City. We're probably wrapped up in a nice comforter, no? Tsk, 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 Mr. Rollins. Hypocrisy flows through you like the blood from your wrists. Tell me, does Deborah even know you weren't even in Iraq? Does she know how many whores you fucked in her apartment? Leave Deborah the fuck out of this, you monster! Who are you? I already told you, Mr. Rollins. My name is Dr. Hans Modric. I'm a simple psychologist, philanthropist, philosopher, among others. Speaking of the lovely Mrs. Rollins, though, do you even know where she is, Mr. Rollins? I do. You... You monster. I can't... I can't move. I can't move. I'm gonna... I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. I laced the inside of your cups with a potent dendrotoxin that uh, entered your system through the cuts in your wrists. Any moment now, muscle hyperexcitability shall kick in and you'll barely be able to sit upright, let alone kill me. See, the beauty is that you'll be perfectly conscious for the rest of this, but sadly, unable to move or to speak. See, Mr. Rollins, fear is not knowing. If you knew where you were, if you knew who I was, if you knew what I did with Deborah, then you wouldn't be afraid. Granted, you would be scared, but blood wouldn't be curdling as fear consumed every inch of your body. Hypocritical little swine of a bitch! You fool the world with your little expose. You propagated false truths, told rumors, 
But most importantly, you did the one thing I cannot possibly tolerate, Mr. Rowland. Do you know what that is? Do you know what that is, Mr. Rowlands? Hypocrisy. Now you will know the meaning of fear. Now there will be some truth to your article. Deborah, Deborah, Deborah. Oh yes, the lovely Deborah Rowlands. The Rowlands. Every time that gets me. Yeah, it's the beauty of it, Mr. Rollins. You cannot possibly know if my associate, whom brought me in this morning, the hound, I call him. You cannot possibly know if he is holding Mrs. Rollins captive and torturing her as we speak, or if he is simply playing a recording from her latest movie, Dawn of the Living Dead. Quite mediocre, in my opinion. Not at all worth the 12.50 I spent on the ticket. You see, Mr. Rollins, fear is most potent when it's not fear for ourselves, but fear for others. Oh, Mr. Hound, please bring in Sally. This, Mr. Rollins, is what a gun looks like. This is the safety, and this is the trigger. I trust you'll treat her better than the lady, Mrs. Rollins. Oh wait, Mr. Rollins. I almost forgot. The dendrotoxin will wear off shortly. And I'll let you two get acquainted. Oh, Mr. Hound, please do call my lovely sister Deborah and let her know that her deadweight husband will no longer be bothering her. Okay.